Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a Motorola radio video for my ham radio use. This I just bought the other day, I just got it in today. It says this, this is the Motorola XTS 3000 in VHF. It'll hold 255 channels, it does analog and P25, and it does trunking too. I've just got it set for conventional repeaters, and I have two of the simplex channels as P25. Um, all these are configurable. I mean, zone will select the different zones of channels I have. Um, you can change high power, low power, uh, scan, and then you can change the channels up here depending on what zone you have it set in. Um, uses the same cable as the XTS and the other Jedi series, like the H, or not the XTS, uh, the MTS and the HT1000, which is this one here. This one only holds 16 channels. There was like two channel models and I think six channel models as well. And I've got all the frequencies listed on there because it doesn't have a display. These didn't have the display. The orange button is like an officer in trouble button or a firefighter. It's like a distress call. On this one I have it set to temporarily knock out a channel when it's on scan mode. If you're getting interference or you don't want to hear a certain repeater, they're doing like a prolonged QSO or something. You can temporarily keep it from scanning that channel. And If you want to scan again, you turn it on and off. And this uh, controls high and low power. On that it's on low power, that it's on regular high power, 5 watts. And that's also how you can tr control the encryption. This thing has the encryption in it. There's no keys in it though, and you, you're not supposed to use encryption on ham. So I don't plan on getting one of those $4,000 key loaders just to, when I really can't use it. Um, the HT1000 can do, actually I don't think it can do encryption. Some of these were trunk. Then you have the MTS 2000, which is this one here. It looks very similar to that. This one's got the full keypad. This has some transmit issues with it, though. Um, so, yeah, I don't use it a whole lot. I need to get it fixed. There's some bad capacitors on the RF board. Um, these are both VHF. There's my Baofeng. Doesn't really compare to these, but these are still good little radios, the Baofengs. This does 440 and 2 meter. These just are set up for 2 meter. Um, if you're getting one, do your research on them, because some of them will not go down to the ham band. Some of them are set for the high VHF. Same thing with the UHF ones, they will not go down to the ham stuff. So do your research on the part numbers and what all they mean, or buy from a good seller. I got this from um, Rick Thompson on eBay. It came with that, the battery, the antenna, and this charger here, which also charges the Jedis. And so yeah, I got those two on eBay. This one came in the other week. This one came in today. And that's it really. Motorola radios are good stuff for ham. I have also like Kenwood commercial stuff. It's pretty good. Um, I mean even the UV82 Baofeng isn't bad but Motorola you just can't beat them. And these both program with the same cable. It's the cable for the XTS3000 or the MTS2000. Also do the HT1000 and the JT1000 which looks very similar to this. Um, Really, that's it for right now. Uh, the software is available online if you look for it for programming. Uh, P25 has it for these older radios. P25 forums. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day.